Hi, it's June 16, 2014, and what we're looking at is what they believe is Dracula's tomb. According to this uh, website, it says, Hurry Daily News, they believe they found Dracula's tomb in Italy, not Romania. So, they say Estonian researchers believe they may have finally discovered the whereabouts of Dracula's grave, which is in Italy, rather than the Romanian Transylvanian Alps, as originally thought. Now we go a little bit up here, and for those unaware, which I can't believe anybody would be unaware at this point because of the movie Dracula, but okay, the inspiration behind Bram Stoker's 1897 gothic novel Dracula is thought to be Vlad III, the 15th century prince of Wallachia in Eastern Europe. Known posthumously as Vlad the Impaler, the ruler was known for his brand of cruelty across Europe, which included impaling his enemies. It says he was born in 1431 as Count Vlad Tepes, when he was part of a noble family who belonged to the Order of the Dragon, a group that was founded as a means of protecting Christianity in Eastern Europe from Ottoman expansion. His father was nicknamed Dracul, meaning dragon, so the young Vlad became known as Dracula, or son of dragon. He disappeared in 1476. Now here's where it becomes interesting. Scholars from the University of Tallinn say they have discovered evidence that suggests the Count was taken prisoner, ransomed to his daughter in Italy, and then buried in the church in Naples. Researchers are claiming a newly uncovered headstone in Naples, Piazza Santa Maria La Nova in the same graveyard as his daughter and son-in-law could be his final resting place. The headstone was discovered by Neapolitan student Erica Stella, who was writing a dissertation on the history of the church. Stella shared the photograph on the internet and experts identified it with a certain level of confidence after years of research. Medieval history scholar Raffaello Glini said the 16th century tomb is covered in images and symbols of the House of Transylvanian Carpathians and not the tomb of an Italian nobleman. When you look at the bas-relief sculptures, the symbolism is obvious. The dragon means Dracula, and the two opposing sphinxes represent the city of Thebes, also known as Tepes. In these symbols, the very name of Count, Dra Count Dracula Tepes is written, Glenny told the reporters. Oh, there you have it. I just found it very interesting, so thought somebody else might too. Have a good one.